Hi, my name is Kristen Brown. I'm from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, and I started The Saints Project. I usually describe The Saints Project as a modern portrayal of Catholic saints, and then digitally altered to look like fine art. So the first time I remember taking pictures, I was probably six or seven. My dad was a photographer, and so he had all kinds of cameras laying around all the time. So I would just load up like this old like point and shoot camera with all of the film that they had. Being behind the camera made me feel really like safe and myself and at home and free and all these feelings that I don't think I could express at the time. I started taking it a bit more seriously when I moved to LA and I think that was kind of a turning point for me in a lot of ways because there were so many people out there who needed photographs of themselves like models and actors. So I learned a lot technically at that point. But I always remember feeling like taking those sorts of pictures, like it wasn't really satisfying. So my husband and I moved from Los Angeles back to Philadelphia. It was mostly like a light bulb moment. I remember being at my mom's house and she said something about St. Sebastian. And I just could see in my mind like the icon of him with all the arrows and and I thought, I wonder if anybody ever did that with a person. And I thought, oh my gosh, maybe that's something I should try. Let's see, I think it was February of 2015 when I th the thought. <laughs> and then it wasn't until April when I actually took the first Saints Project picture. It was probably a handful of the pictures that he did before I had kind of a formula and a process. I got to a point where I started putting them on the internet. People would recognize that it was mine and that was probably the coolest thing. It had a look, I guess. Generally, I'll either have a person in my mind that I met or know or saw somewhere and try to match them with a saint. Okay, what did they look like? When did they live? Um, you know, How did they die? What are they known for looking like? The planning part is probably 85%. It's really important to me to feel like I know who they are and you know, praying for their intercession for a while before we shoot it. And so then I would bring in whoever was gonna be portraying the saint, get them dressed in whatever they were gonna wear, and then have them sit in. So after I take the photo, I'll put it into Photoshop, and then from there, it's kind of a formula. It's like anything that needs to be taken out. And then the very end will be coloring and style. My husband, Andrew, does all of the constructing of any set. It's been really amazing to work with Andrew because I've, I think I've learned a lot about him that I, might, I probably wouldn't have learned. Things about myself as well, just working with him in his creative way because at first it was really mine, but as it started to grow, it's kind of become our project. Amanda and I got connected on Instagram and said, that she would like to be in one of the portraits. I didn't even have to think about it. it. It just kind of was like, oh, you're the hemorrhaging woman. The hemorrhaging woman bled for 12 years. When she had heard that Jesus was coming into her town, she said, like, if only I could touch him, I will be whole. And she felt like that was the only thing that she needed to be healed. Even though most women won't suffer what the hemorrhaging woman suffered. I'm pretty sure that most everybody, not just women, can relate to the, the desperate desire to be healed of something. And Amanda Vernon's voice is, is so compelling and emotive, and it just matched emotionally perfectly with the image that we captured. My greatest hope for when people look at the pictures is that they can realize that the saints we're real people, and that we're all called to that too. God is very much part of our modern world and understands all of the things that we have to deal with every day. If we allow him to use us to use those things, then it can be just as saintly as Padre Pio or someone long ago. It's the openness and the willingness to do his will.